were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer, when I was shuffling off camera and meditating, what I got for you was like, it was like a vision of a house. It was a very nice house, like I say three stories, um, maybe even four, right? Um, and it was like a couple sitting on the porch and then they, it was like an energy that came into the house and then went into the house and then went upstairs and then went into like every room and, and then it started to, the house started to grow. Like it just kept going like up and up. So I don't know if this is you needing to maybe trace your history or you know genealogy what is it Geneal genealogy or gen whatever go chase your ancestry go to ancestry.com right <laughs> or um this is more so what you want with somebody or this is what they want with you they want like a long history or family life with you or this is what you're desiring or this is what you have or this is what you're trying to maintain um in regards to maybe you're already in a marriage, you know? So this is, uh, it, it seemed like a good vision. It wasn't bad, it wasn't malicious. Um, it was just, uh, we're gonna see what the cards have to say about it. It was just uh, the vision that I got for your reading. So something about family, it could even be family roots. It could even be that you want to be rooted, you know, and grounded in a relationship with someone or you already have that. Um, you've been in a relationship for a very long time because the house just kept going and going or this is what you want what is the situation for cancer what we're going to do is uh, pull energy for the situation uh, and then um, what's external to you some advice and then future energy all right let's see what's the situation for cancer okay the world card so we've got i'm not the world card the world egg sorry and this deck it is the uh, full card. So we've got good news. We've got uh, starting something new, embarking on something new. This could even be um, implantation like pregnancy, the beginning stages of pregnancy. Uh, this could also be wanting to take a, a, a risk, a leap. Um, a, so it would be a leap of faith because you don't know how it's going to turn out right. So this sometimes just talks about um, feeling like you found the one, but you don't know how the relationship is going to turn out or what's going to happen in regards to the connection. This is also about um, following your heart's desire. I saw the King of Pentacles. Okay, he wants to come out. Somebody wants to be a husband. Someone is a husband. Someone is letting something new develop in regards to, you know, um, a relationship that they're already established in 
this is obligation, this is provider, this is systematic. Something about starting something, this is the start, having willing to risk it all or, or willing to, you know, um, take a calculated risk, willing to, willing to um, put yourself out there with the two of wands. So something about a risk, calculated risk, a knee jerk opportunity. This could even be in career and finance. Uh, if it is, it looks good. It looks like something that's going to bring you a lot of money, a lot of stability. If this is love, this is somebody determining which way they want to go in love, uh, who they want to be in love with. And uh, they're trying to decide up maybe uh, you know, amongst two different people, or maybe even it could be a lifestyle. Don't want to be single. Don't want to be partnered. The two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So it definitely could be something about partnership, doing something on an everyday basis. It talks about values, priorities. What are you going to prioritize or who are you going to prioritize? Who are you going to take the leap of faith with? Cancer, this could be you, could be someone around you. Someone could be trying to determine if they're ready to take that calculated risk here. Let's see what the... Um, external energy is for you cancer what is the exter okay that wanted to come out wow the ten of pentacles so this is definitely back to that vision the house and the the couple sitting on the steps and then the, the energy goes up and it goes into every room so something about growth somebody knows who they want to be in a long-term committed relationship with they know that they want this growth uh with this person the house could also be in terms of maybe your business you want your business to grow. It, it definitely could be a relationship too. Uh, the two of wands here with the two of cups. I'm getting like cardinal energy. Definitely your energy. Libra, Capricorn, um, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, Aries. Got Aries coming up with the two of wands. So something about starting something. You know, the start does not, defin not define or it does not determine the outcome here. It's like somebody wants to start something here. The Ten of Pentacles coming out. It's like somebody is, is trying to, they're trying to get to this energy, to longevity, long stability. Um, somebody could be married and into money. This could even be, I'm getting like calculated risk in regards to um, getting married or being coupled or somebody has a lot of money or the family has wealth or there's affluence or something about maybe an empire building an empire the knight of swords somebody being tunnel vision in regards to seeing something through pushing it through taking that calculated risk maybe on themselves so that they can this is external to you the ten of pentacles and the knight of swords you can have somebody with earth in their chart capricorn virgo taurus we've got aquarius coming up um with the Knight of Swords, it's like somebody knows that this is a big leap or someone wants to do something big in order to bring some energy back or it's gotten away from. With these tools here, there is partnership, but at the same time, okay. So somebody is trying to prioritize a partnership and do something big. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, so that they can always keep this person in their corner, in their life. Someone looks at someone as a forever person, whether it's we're married or we're gonna be friends or whatever. Somebody, I want you in my life forever. Um, there's friendship and then there's love, which could equal um, marriage, um, you know, a contractual agreement. It's like somebody wants to take the next step or the leap of faith or someone knows that this is the one, but they don't know how to get to a place where they can be everything that this person deserves or wants let's see external seven of cups yeah so uh, we've got confusion we've got wishful thinking external to you we've got also daydreaming with the seven of cups we've got um okay i heard like loose lips or something like that so external to you we've got somebody here daydreaming wishful thinking not enough action needing to get in control losing control so this could be external to you cancer this could be you i don't know 
Someone feels like they're losing control. Therefore, they feel like they need to pull you back in because they feel like you're a forever person. They feel like they're losing control maybe because you're moving away from them. You're not setting your sights on them or vice versa. This is how you feel about someone. Um, the, the energy is not uh, drilled down on uh, this person cancer. Therefore, they feel like, okay, I've got to do something big to bring cancer back in or I've got to do something big or this is how you feel cancer. You feel like you had to do something big to bring this. Part. Yeah, I knew it. The magician at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is trying to use all resources um, to manifest what they have in their mind. Like I'm, I'm trying to bring something into fruition. I'm trying to bring the relationship back together. I'm trying to keep this person. I'm trying to keep them in my corner. I'm trying to keep them in my life. I'm trying to keep them at a place where they'll keep their sights on me or on the relationship. Therefore, I need to do something big so that they don't leave, so that they don't want to leave, so that they don't, um, they don't see anything else. I'm trying to manipulate the energy. This could be what you're doing, what somebody else is doing. Let's see what the advice is for you, Cancer. It's like somebody's trying to pre preserve themselves, maintain themselves, or someone's trying to preserve or maintain the relationship. But this, so somebody could be even coming to you, Cancer, and saying the sweet nothings, anything, loose lips, okay? Someone's trying to have that house that just continues to go, 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 go beyond, you know, it, it never ends. Someone wants a relationship that never ends, whether they offer you a commitment or not, they just don't want it to end, okay? Let's see, what is the advice for cancer? What is the advice for cancer? What is the advice for can? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, so you get two knights showing up. Definitely somebody who you have history with, you have a relationship with. So the Knight, slow, steady wins the race. Um, if the relationship has gone cold, stale, inject some fun into the relationship, travel, um, make sure you're precise, dot all your I's, cross your T's, uh, make sure that you're committed, devoted, loyal. Um, let's see what else advice here. Queen of swords. So we've got queen of swords, king of pentacles, knight of pentacles. So what we have here is maybe a few, um, maybe false starts or we have starts that have no progression here. Yeah, we got a few false starts. Okay. Um, the queen of swords, the advice in the queen of swords, get real clear on what you want. Be very decisive, be the executive in your life, cut out things that do not serve you and your, your vision for your life. If it doesn't serve your vision, why is it there? If this person doesn't want what you want, why do you keep entertaining them? If they can't give you what you deserve, why do you keep showing up? The Queen of Swords is about severing ties with outdated, um, I heard outlandish, outworn uh, loyalties. So um, she's cutting ties with that. It doesn't, you know, doesn't serve her does it serve the new life that she's trying to have. So you might need, so this could even be friendship. This could even be, yeah, friendship or people that you're keeping around that if you're trying to do something new in your life, you're trying to show up as better or trying to, you know, evolve and they're not trying to evolve, you may have to cut this out or cut it off. Okay, the advice, yeah, the nine of cups, this is how you get what you want. This is how you maintain emotional stability. This is how you maintain groundedness. There's a God complex, also the nine of cups. You might need to incorporate God, whatever that may be for you in your life. Um, you also need to maybe cut out some drinking or lascivious behavior or hanging out or eat, drink, be merry, having sex and, you know, carefree. You might need to cut this off. You need to, be, if you want a stable relationship, then you can't do both. It just seems as if there's an energy where someone's trying to be in between or they're in the in between with the two of wands because that was your situation it's like somebody wants to be the caring doting loving husband or wife but at the same time they want to be having carefree careless connections sex fun drugs rock and roll whatever but then they also 
you know, want this person in their life forever. This is an energy where somebody's got to come to terms with be very decisive because there might be indecision here. A decision needs to be made. You know, a decision needs to be made. The other people know a decision needs to be made. You may have feel like you found the one with the sun card here. This person brings you a lot of happiness, contentment, joy in your life. You may even have found someone that you want to have uh, a child with. This person could be your literal sunshine. You, they come into your life or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. You know, um, there's an energy where somebody is resting in duality. Okay. So they're on, on Monday, they're the doting, loving husband on Friday. They are kicking it, baby. They are kicking it hard. They are doing whatever they want to do. Um, it is catching up to someone. Okay. Uh, the cards are saying you have to decide. Let's see what the future energy is for you, cancer, or this could be, um, your person it doesn't have to be you it could be somebody else I don't know. or this is where you want to be right now you want to be in between you like you know playing in between that is devil energy you know because the devil is about duality monday i'm good friday i'm bad as hell you know um let's see in the near future what do we have the future energy for cancer a courtship so we do have a relationship and that's what you want, okay? And this this courtship talks about dating with purpose, dating um, in the regard that you're going to be married or be coupled or be in some committed relationship. Keep in mind the vision that I had. And then also we get the Ten of Pentacles showing up. Let's see, imprisonment. But then somebody feels like, you know, they're stuck or they're tied to or they're bound or it's, it's not what they want. It's like somebody is in the energy of, I want to be in this committed relationship, but at the same time, I want to do me. I don't want to be imprisoned. I w don't want to be obligated to. I don't want to be stuck to. Um, or someone feels that way in a relationship. They feel like, okay, I'm, I feel like I'm in a prison. You know, there's so much obligation, so much weight on my shoulders. Let's see, what is the future energy for cancer? Yeah, concern. So somebody goes into maybe a depressive state, um, thinking about pondering what to do next. Um, a lot of thinking, a lot of time to yourself. So I'm thinking about what the future holds for this relationship. This is somebody who knows that they met somebody who is a gift. A gift to their life right they know that they met the one wow maybe even a soulmate high-level soulmate with the will of fortune showing up but this is the inability to pull the trigger and actually make it happen because somebody goes back and forth they rock back and forth with single life and then couple life and it could be the company that someone is keeping we talked about that we talked about if they don't add to the narrative, to what the story you're trying to write, why are you keeping them around? Could be friends, could be family. It's like somebody wants the house, right? They want the stable relationship, but at the same time, they just don't know how to be stable or they're not in a stable environment. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. If this is you, let me know if it's you down in the comment section. If this is somebody else who you know they go back and forth with wanting to be in a committed relationship, put their name down in the comment section. You don't have to do that, but you can definitely, you know, attest to this being your story. Um, and if you feel like you took something from the reading, you can always give back by buying me a coffee. The link is below. It's called uh, buy Ella coffee. Um, and if you are a business minded individual and you want to connect with other business minded individuals, you can always join our, our KTMG keep the momentum going conference call. It's a monthly conference call that we do where we get on with several business minded individuals. And we just talk about valuable, invaluable information in regards to either start your business or to continue further your business, grow your business. So take advantage of that. The link is in the description box. Um, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you know what? I looked at my analytics and I'm finding that I have a lot of uh, viewership 
in a few different cities. And uh, those cities were uh, Chicago, Dallas, London, uh, Houston, Atlanta, Philly, Philadelphia, and uh, New York. I think it was LA also. Um, so hello, hello, thank you for viewing. Uh, if you're viewing for one of those uh, countries, states, towns, whatever, uh, drop it below. You know, shout out to you and thank you again. Take care, till next time.